This is part 35 of ASP.NET Web API tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss why is versioning required in Web API, different options available to version Web API services, and finally, how to version a Web API service using URIs. So first, let's understand why is versioning required in Web API. Once a Web API service is made public, different client applications start using and relying on that service. As the business grows and requirements change, we may have to change the services as well. But the changes to the services should be done in a way that does not break any existing client applications. This is when Web API versioning helps. We keep the existing services as is, so we are not breaking the existing client applications and develop a new version of the service that new client applications can start using. There are different options available to version Web API services. Versioning can be implemented using URIs, Query String, Version Header, Accept Header, and Media Type. In this video, we'll discuss versioning using URIs. In our upcoming videos, we'll discuss the rest of the versioning options. Let's understand versioning using URIs with an example. Let's flip to Visual Studio now. At the moment, within our models folder, we've got this file, studentv1.cs. V1 stands for version 1. Within this file, we have our student version 1 class, which has got these two properties, ID and name. Within our controllers folder, we have students version 1 controller. Within this controller, we have a static list of student version 1 objects and we also have these two methods. This method returns i enumerable of student version 1 objects whereas this method returns student by id. Again, the return type here is student version 1 object. Now, here is what we want to be able to do. If we navigate to this URI, API slash v1 slash students then we want the service to return the list of all version 1 student objects. If we specify the ID in the route then we want that specific student. The reason we are using versioning here is because tomorrow if our requirements change and we want to develop a new version of student then we would simply change the route like this API slash v2 then the service should return list of all version 2 student objects. If a client issues a request using API slash v1 then it should return v1 students. So let's see how to achieve this. Now we have got our version 1 student object. We have got our version 1 controller. The next change that we have to do is in web API config.cs. Let's give our route a name. We can give it any name we want, but I'm going to call it version 1. And then I'm going to change this route. So we want to go to API for slash v1 and then the controller name. I'm going to hard code the controller name. I'm going to call it students. But if you look at our controllers folder, we don't have students controller. We have students v1 controller. So when someone specifies in the route students as the controller, then we want students v1 controller to be instantiated. Okay, so let's specify that name here. And this ID parameter here is going to be optional. So let's run our application by pressing Control F5. And when we navigate to API for slash v1 for slash students, we get the list of student version 1 objects. If we specify an ID in the URI, we get that specific student as well. Now, if we try to navigate to API slash v2 at the moment, we get 404 because we don't have such a route in our application. Now, let's say our business requirements have changed and the new clients that we got, they want first name and last name for the student instead of just the name property. Now, if we change this existing version of the service, then all the existing clients are going to break. So there is definitely a need to develop a new version of our service. So let's first of all create student v2 object. To do that, I'm going to make a copy of this student version 1. Let's change the name of the file to student v2. 
and within this let's change the class names to student v2 and instead of just name let's include first name and let's also include last name now let's create our student version 2 controller so let's make a copy of student version 1 controller and let's change the file name to students v2 controller and let's change the class name as well so this one is going to be students v2 controller and we want a list of student v2 objects and in the interest of time I have already typed the required code so let me copy the list from here and paste it right here so here we have got list of student version 2 objects version 2 object has got ID first name and last name properties and we want this method to return student version 2 objects and this method also to return student version 2 object and then the next change is within our web API config so we need to create another route here so let's make a copy of this and let's give it version 2 as the name and when we navigate to API slash v2 slash students then we want students v2 controller to be instantiated so these are all the changes required let's give our solution a build one more time and when we navigate to API slash version 1 slash students we get version 1 student objects if we navigate to API slash v2 slash students we get version 2 student objects similarly if we specify an ID in the URI we get that specific version and that specific student as expected at the moment we are using convention based routing to implement versioning we can also use attribute routing to implement versioning since we are going to use attribute routing to implement versioning we can comment these two convention routes within our web API config.cs file and within our students version 1 controller we want this method to be mapped to this route so let's use attribute routing so we want this get method in our version 1 students controller to be mapped to API v1 for slash students and we want this method to be mapped to the same URI with an ID parameter and within our students version 2 controller we want this method to be mapped to API slash v2 slash students and this one is going to have an ID as well so let's include ID in the route at the end let's give our solution a build and test our application the application should work exactly the same way as before so if we navigate to API slash v1 slash students we get version 1 list of students and if we change the URI to API slash v2 slash students we get version 2 list of students and if we specify an ID in the URI we get that specific student and version as expected so here is our first example implementing versioning using convention based routing these are the two routes that we had in our web API config.cs file to implement versioning and here is our second example implementing versioning with attribute routing instead of convention based routing thank you for listening and have a great day